Son, have you showered yet? Come on, sis. Come on, hurry up. Dad wants me to get going. Hey, do you know where Meridian's water comes from? Doesn't our water come from rain and snow? Yeah, rain and snow. Well, kind of. The city of Meridian has a dry climate. We only get about 14 inches of rain a year. However, snow in the nearby mountains melts and flows into our rivers and streams. From there, the water seeps deep into the ground into what's called an aquifer. What's an aquifer? An aquifer is a geological formation of permeable rock, gravel, or sand that contains water deep underground and flows like a slow underground river. Fortunately, beneath the city of Meridian, there are several aquifers that supply water for our residents. What? So there's more than one aquifer? And they're deep in the ground? So how do we get our water out? By drilling wells! Deciding where to drill and how deep to drill is really important. Different aquifers are at different depths and have different water quality depending on the geological formation they're in. The city's water division conducts well testing to find the best location to drill a well and to test the groundwater quality that comes from each well. The wells have to pass a test? Not like that, silly. Like this. When a test well indicates sufficient flow and high water quality, we put in what we call a production well. This well produces drinking water to our homes, schools, and businesses. You know, we're really lucky in Meridian because our aquifer has really good water quality. And as a result, we don't have to treat it as much as we would, say, if we drew our water from local rivers. So, my friend who lives on the other side of town, she drinks the same water I do? Not necessarily. There are 20 active wells located all around Meridian. Each well services different zones in our city. Your neighborhood might get its water from a well in one zone, and your friend from a well in another zone. Hey, my boss complained to me the other day about his water being a little brown last week. What's up with that? Different aquifers have different levels of naturally occurring minerals, such as iron and manganese. Occasionally, you may notice that your water is slightly discolored in appearance. Meridian's water division adds a small amount of chlorine to disinfect all the drinking water we produce. When the chlorine mixes with water containing these minerals, a chemical reaction causes them to oxidize, become heavier, and settle to the bottom of water lines. During times of high water demand, such as mornings and evenings, this mineral buildup gets picked up and mixed back into the water flow, causing the water to appear brown in color. The water division operates a year-round flushing program to help clear out the buildup of iron and manganese. The city is also pursuing long-term solutions by constructing new water filtration facilities, which will reduce these harmless minerals and help keep our drinking water clear. A portion of the drinking water also goes to storage tanks or reservoirs for future use and emergencies. Since water meters were first installed, the city has collected data about how much water your home uses. But how we collect data has evolved over time. With the help of laptops and wireless technology, we now drive through neighborhoods and get hundreds of meter readings at a time. This is one way the city is improving efficiency and saving money. Decades of collecting water usage data has enabled the city to see trends in consumption over the years. Meridian's Water Division always encourages citizens to try conserving water whenever possible. Hey, turn off the water while you're doing that. Oh yeah. That was a good example. Let's look at some others. Thanks for helping me fix a leaky toilet, son. Hey, let's use the blue tablets on the other toilets to see if they leak too. Sure was nice of the city to give these to us for free. That keeps us from wasting water and saves us money. This low flow faucet will help reduce how much water we use too. That's right, changing this out was a great suggestion. When you're out enjoying Meridian's parks, make use of our filling stations with a reusable bottle. There's a lot of ways to conserve water. Here are some suggestions. You know what, Dad? Let me sweep the driveway off instead of hosing it off with the city water. We don't want all the oily gunk getting into the aquifer. Good thinking, buddy. It's pretty easy to protect our water quality once we start thinking about it. Little actions make a big difference. Help us protect and conserve Meridian's water by installing backflow prevention devices, 
properly disposing of household hazardous waste, and picking up pet waste. Did you know taking shorter showers can save hundreds of gallons of water? Hmm, well, I think I could take shorter showers once in a while. Here's the timer. Let's see how long you take. Ha, huh, I don't need to take a shower. Yes, you do. And make sure you use that timer. 